UTS Olympic in Adelaide City, foundation members of the National Soccer League who've taken very different paths. Adelaide City is a model of consistency, making a record eight consecutive finals appearances, a sequence that's still running. The Zebras hold the record for consecutive grand finals too. On the other hand, inconsistency has been an Olympic trait. Relegated at the end of 1979, Olympic were in a grand final five seasons later, but lost to South Melbourne over two legs. Head to head, the Zebras have a slender advantage, winning 15 to Olympics 14. That's the Ericsson Cup match of the day. UTS Olympic versus Adelaide City at the Sydney Football Stadium. Our commentator, Paul Williams. As we check on the two lineups, the Olympic theme for the season has been a number of key players being out through injury, but on the left side of the park, Hussain Jamar and Steve Eagleton have caught the eye as newcomers at this level, while Hussain Bahan has impressed as a substitute, and he steps up to start the game tonight. The older heads in the 11 are all former Marconi men, Di Marini, Catlin and Paul Carter have played over 800 NSL games between them. Peter Sakenis, Norman Tome, Brett Emerton and Walter Ardone are the only familiar faces from the previous season. As we check on the Adelaide City starting 11 now and they welcome back their Socceroo players, though Alex Tobin understandably was not considered after captaining Australia last night. Milan Ivanovic was a late withdrawal from the starting 11 for Adelaide City, but Damien Murray, he will continue his quest for goals in attack. He's managed three so far this season, and Jason Petkovic will continue in goal. Simon Mikalev from New South Wales is tonight's referee. And it's Adelaide City and Damien Murray in particular. What a try that was from Murray in the first, well, 10 seconds. Well, he does have the world record for the quickest goal ever scored in history. Well, he was never going to beat the world record here, but it was a very close call indeed. Maybe seven or eight seconds on the clock before Damien Murray's shot just dipped over the crossbar. Bahan, ball running nicely to him off an Adelaide City player. Brought down, no. Well, it was a clean tackle according to Simon Mikalev. Hussain Bahan didn't believe that was the case and he stopped the ball with his hand. He's a player who's come up through the grades here at UTS Olympic. Made a couple of appearances as a substitute already. He's 22 years of age as Murray goes through. That's a good ball for Murray. Manillo's free down the left. Whipped across. Chance for Adelaide City over the bar. Murray it was coming in to meet the cross after providing a good through ball for Brad Hassel. It was a move that has Jeff Harkham up on his feet with a bit of an inquest being held in the UTS Olympic defence. Olympic nil, Adelaide City nil. Best moment of the game came for Adelaide City when Damian Murray fired over the bar. I donate over the ball. Waiting for some movement in the penalty area. Plenty of big men forward for UTS Olympic. Ante Juric, Brett Emerton at the back post. Petkovic is there. Good pullback. Chance for Olympic whipped away there by Nick Sibiak. Great header back across the goal line from Peter Sakenis. Costanzo has been in control of his defence for most of the quarter of an hour or so that we've had so far, but the Adelaide City side was caught out there as the rain starts to come down here at the Sydney Football Stadium. As we take a look at it, Petkovic came all the way, but then he realised he couldn't get there. Just look at that. That's a great head back from Peter Sakenis as he almost collides with a camera behind the goal, but the head back just wasn't to a blue shirt. Good moment for UTS Olympic though as the rain starts to bucket down here at the Sydney Football Stadium and the crowd retreats back to the higher reaches of the lowest tier here. 
Good free kick in again. Chance for Olympic Tolmai. Side netting. Well, Jeff Harkham may have suspected that the ball didn't go on the right side of the post, but the crowd certainly believed it did. It was a poor clearance from Adelaide City, and Tomei and Bahan between them were both fighting for the same ball. Hassel. Thomas Hassel on the overlap now. Goes past one. Whips it across. Good ball, Murray! Well, again, Adelaide City just looking the sharper of the two sides in attack. And that was a razor-sharp move indeed. As Hassel and Murray combined, Thomas played the earlier ball out to Brad Hassel, who was on the overlap. He got past his man with ease, got his head up as well, and picked out Damian Murray at the near post. And it wasn't too far away from the opening goal. Well flicked on there by Eagleton and picking out Bahan at the same time and Olympic looking to get something just before the break. Tomei's their best bet in front of goal. Everton though will try a shot. Good effort too from Brett Everton. Very much a snapshot from the young midfielder. Sized up the opening very quickly indeed. No one closed him down so he just struck it sweetly and cleanly but Pekovic was on his toes. come into the game oh that's a tragic mistake here something for Tomei perhaps across the goal Norman Tomei could have and perhaps should have put his side ahead it was a glaring error in the heart of the Adelaide City defense and Tomei the side's leading goal scorer won't get a much better chance than that as we take another look here Costanzo who's had such a good game was robbed by the nippiness of Nick Carl. Tomei had just the goalkeeper to beat. Carl perhaps may have expected a ball back across. Either way, the chance went begging and it was a good chance as well. Mori switching it to Thomas. Keeping it in there, there's no room for him to move there, Scott Thomas. Just holding off his man. Well, great ball. Gibson might take the shot. Good shot. Well, it had a late bit of curl on it there. The shot from John Gibson. And plenty of power as well. It missed the goal in the end by about a metre and a half. But it was a good effort from Adelaide City. Who have responded very quickly to the chance from Norman Tome at the other end. Sadliak a little slow to react to the dummy by... Thomas, Emerton in the penalty area, Carl, still Carl, good opening here, penalty, well it looked for a moment as though Nick Carl had missed a glaring opportunity but in the end it was an infringement by Angelo Costanzo and Simon Mikulev had no hesitation in pointing to the Penalty spot. There's Costanzo there, the number six. We'll just see what happened. Carl skipped past a couple. Costanzo fell down and he touched the ball with his hand, did he? And that's what the penalty was for. We'll take another look now. Emerton, brilliant Maisie run from him. Carl there. Costanzo fell. And the penalty is given. Emerton with the job. Oh, great save. Petkovic, like a cat on his goal line, pulled it down and not only saved the ball, he held the ball. Well, he hasn't had a game in three weeks, Jason Petkovic, as the Socceroos' third-string goalkeeper. He moved the right direction, he moved quickly, and he made the save look very easy indeed. Great anticipation from 
the Adelaide City goalkeeper. Armour, fine ball. Trajanovsky cutting inside. Black and white shirts forward and plenty of them. And one of them is Hassel, who's in the penalty area here. Little back heel. Thomas, still Thomas. Tries to shot. Good effort. Catlin would have had a late look at that one. As Thomas worked the meter for himself. Clever little back heel from Hassel. Thomas, well, he sized up the opportunity for the shot there, but he carried on and he whipped one in here off the left foot. Catlin just palmed the ball away. Corner to Adelaide City. Hassel. Murray. Still Murray. Murray fighting his way right through the centre. Good touch on Damien Murray. Oh, surely it is a goal. Damien Murray has pulled one out of the hat there. Well, it trickled in off the post. So much so that we were all wondering if it was actually going to reach the goal line. It did, and Murray has his fourth of the season. But he very much made it all himself. He barged his way through, winning the ball twice in the tackle. He went down a couple of times. And that was a good little touch on, and a great ball back from Sabliak. Murray lunged again. He just got it off the sole of the boot to get past the goalkeeper, and it dribbled in. And finally, a goal to show at the Sydney Football Stadium as we take a look here. Murray fought through one obstacle there. He clawed his way past a second and still surged on through the centre and the faintest of touches. And Olympic are in danger now of losing their third game at home on the trot. De Marini lets it run. Ante Juric now had some space. Still Juric. Imitant. Chamar going down the left. Christodoulou. Patient work this by Olympic. Adone! Great save again when required from Jason Pekovic. And Walter Adone felt sure that he had found an equaliser with this patient but clever build up from UTS Olympic. move, patient move, Fristadulu eventually found Tome with that great little layoff there to donate and Petkovic equal to the task well, Thomas said very sharply there Murray forward, Thomas is with him Murray on his own, good shots oh great save too by Catlin because that was arrowing into the bottom right hand corner of Catlin's goal and Murray sized up the opening very quickly indeed. He had really too much time as the defence backed off. And Catlin, well, he's kept his side in the game, but for how much longer, I don't know. And it was a well-drilled shot by Damian Murray going right in that far corner. Adelaide content to pump the ball up the park in these last few seconds. And there's nothing wrong with that as you're desperate for the three points as this side is. High ball, Adone through the centre, but well covered back by Sebiak. Simon Mikalev continually glancing at his watch now. There can't be long left in the game. There is the final whistle. Very much a smash and grab performance here by Adelaide City because UTS Olympic really dominated the second spell and for the second time this weekend on SBS we see a side who thoroughly deserves to win the match not come away with anything to show for it in the second half Tomei had a one-on-one -on -one with the keeper but Brett Everton missed the best opportunity to open the scoring from the penalty spot then Damian Murray took over charging his way through the Adelaide City back line right through the centre somewhat of a battering ram goal from Murray with a bit of help from Sabliak and he toe-poked it into the back of the net.
Olympic now have lost three on the trot at home and Adelaide City climb above them on the Ericsson Cup league ladder. UTS Olympic nil, Adelaide City one.